What is going on guys? If y'all have been following the channel at all recently, you know I had a 2004 Suzuki RM252 stroke that I rebuilt for the channel. And the thing was super sweet. Well, I've decided I want to move on to a new project and I wanted to build a CR250, not obviously an older model since they don't make them anymore. Well, then I ended up getting an offer for a trade on this thing. So I got a, a 2017 Honda 450 and it's got a transmission problem. So when you shift it into fifth, it doesn't want to hold the gear and it wants to drop itself back down into fourth gear. Well, I took the trade and figured I could use this thing for some educational purposes. So if y'all have any questions or videos that you would like to see with this bike and during my rebuild, I'm gonna strip it all the way down to the frame. I'm gonna completely go through this thing and go through all of it for the channel. So if there's anything that y'all think that y'all would like to see with this bike that I can do for the channel, leave a comment down below so I know what you guys would like. Um, I don't I'm not gonna do a full bike build like I did with the Suzuki. Um, this is going to be more kind of like certain things throughout the build and basically by recommendation from you guys. So whatever it is that you guys want to see, let me know. Um, I had some different plans, but I think what the plan I'm going to end up doing with this thing is I'm going to end up building it and selling it because I'm trying to race arena cross. So I was going to try and hit the last round of the Pro Nationals. I know I haven't put any Pro National vlogs out for you guys. There's a lot of things that went into that. I'll get into that later on uh, with another video for you guys. But this is my 450 right now that I've been racing. And I've been having a lot of issues trying to dial that thing in. I know I was told you guys didn't have a dialed in video on that thing. Well, I've had that bike for three or four months and I still have not dialed it in. So it doesn't make sense for me to put out a video out on that thing if it's not dialed in yet, right? So still working on that thing. The other day, I blew out my rear wheel. I'll show you. Boom completely just exploded this thing. I've got 15 spokes left in the wheel. So you can see there's like a broken spoke here and then there's another broken spoke somewhere else and then there's just a bunch of missing ones. My, my rotor's all bent, the hub's just destroyed everything. <clears throat> so Dr. Ross got me this new wheel set, which is super sick for the race bike. So we got these new Talon hubs, DID wheels, this looks super sick. So that's the new setup we're working with on the bike. Dr. Roth, West Avenue Plastic Surgery in Houston, Texas, got me set up on that stuff and it looks sick. I rode it today. I'm trying out some new gearing. So I'm hoping with that new gearing, it's gonna help me get that bike dialed in a little bit more. <clears throat> a little bit too late to be getting this thing dialed in for my own purposes, but I can still get it dialed in, put on YouTube. That way you guys can see how to make that bike really ride good. I've still been chasing it for a long time. Evo suspension has been helping me change up some stuff here and there. We're trying to get it worked out. But for now, if there's anything you guys wanna see on this bike here, let me know, leave a comment down below, hit the notification bell, so that way anything I do put out on this thing or any other content, educational videos, whatever it is, you guys will be the first ones to know it and you will see it and you can tell your friends about it. Tell your friends about it, I'd appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next ones. Peace.